In this video, we're going to continue talking about uh, taking our data and preparing it so that we can start doing um, analytics with it. One thing that often happens is that when you pull in data, you have more data than you really need or than you want. And what I mean from that is not that uh, we have too much of one thing, but that we really just want to subset out and look at one particular section of the data. So in this uh, video, we're going to talk about the J.G. et al. Business Analytics Textbook Chapter 2.3, Example 2.3. And in it, we're going to go over some of the functions of filtering, sorting, copying, cop pasting, and also creating a new worksheet. Again, you can completely follow all the way through here with the, uh, the textbook example 2.3. To get us started off is we want to copy our data uh, and bring it into a new worksheet. Be careful when you copy because sometimes what you see on your screen is not all of your data. This toolbar on the bottom will help you slide over to make sure that you capture everything from A to N, and you'll see whenever we get down here, we have 201 rows, which means we have 200 customers, right? Because we have header data. I'm gonna copy this, Control C, open up a new worksheet, paste it in. Note that once again, birth date has these crazy uh, uh, hashtag signs all through it. Just because this isn't wide enough, I'm double left clicking on this, and it opens up. We need to rename this now uh, according to the um, adjusted data. All right, from adjusted data, and I could have just left everything highlighted because the first step in example 2.3 is we want to take this data and we want to filter it. If you go to the Home tab, Look up here in this editing, you'll see sort and filter icon, left click. Now I want to filter everything, so I left click there, and you'll notice that these little drop downs have come up for each and every one of our columns. The reason that's important for us is in the example in the textbook, Catherine Hill wants to look at students or wants to look at customers who are college graduates and are millennials. So what Catherine's interested in is, in this college column, she wants to only look at those who graduated college. So I click yes. You can see that some things have uh, moved down. And she only wants to look at millennials. So that's based on birthday. And in birthday, if I go to date filters and then between, I can put in the dates that, at which millennials are born. Um, commonly, this is January 1st of 1982 through December 31 of 1999. All right, I'm going to click OK. At that point, we now have just college graduated millennials. We want to take and copy this data. All right, create a new tab. I'm gonna just paste it in. I'm using Control C and Control V for the copy paste functions. In this, these are my college educated millennials. From the college educated millennials, I don't need all of the data that's here anymore. As a matter of fact, Catherine has stated in step or step B, that there are several columns that she would like to see removed. The first one is a customer ID. If you left click on the uh, column, you, will, you can see that it highlights everything customer ID. Right click and you can just delete the column here. You can do that for each and every one of the other columns that she's interested in, which is race, birthday, college, zip code, and then also spending 2020 to remove that. So again, you can remove all of those. And now the last step that um, Catherine wants to do is she wants to separate the males from the females and put those into two separate sheets. So what we're gonna do is 
we are going to, again, once you get all of your columns removed, okay, I didn't remove the columns, but you need to, you can copy this again, go in and paste. We only want to look at, we want to, I'm sorry, we want to set two different uh, worksheets up here, one with females in it and one with males. So if I left click on the uh, column that's gender and I go to data and sort, sort A to Z, it says, do you want to expand this selection? Yes, we want all of the data that's in here. So we click, we click on sort. At this point, we have all the females at the top and all the males at the bottom. If we wanted, and I think it may be the easiest, was just to come in here and take all of those who are male. And I'm gonna use cut, all right? And you can you go back to home and you could cut by using this feature or you could use control X. At that point, the data that you are trying to remove is kind of highlighted. Create a new worksheet, come down one row, and let's paste this in, all right? And I'm going to use the paste function. I'm going to use Control-V to put it in. All we're missing is the headers, so we can come back to Sheets, left-click, drag across the header. I'm going to copy it using Control-C, back over, and I'm going to use Control-V to paste it back in. All right, these are my males. These are my female. At this point, we have now taken all of that data that we started with. We have broken it down to only those college graded, college graduated millennial females, there are 21 of them, and college graduated millennial males, and there are 38 of them. All right, that's how we subset. We're getting really close to being able to actually start doing some analysis.